So I noticed something last time I was playing Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, and that was that the AI autopilot, AI co-pilot, isn't quite as good as, as you'd think he should be. So I'm, I'm setting this to, I don't think low altitude or high altitude is gonna make any difference, is it? It's four minutes either way. Uh, so we'll go low. I noticed that when landing, because I can't be bothered to do all the taxiing, the taxiing's really boring. I found when landing, if I turned on AI Copilot to do the taxiing bit for me, in a smaller aeroplane, uh, he would slam the brakes on and tip the airplane over, which is not particularly helpful after you've been flying for, you know, an hour, maybe more. So I thought what we'd try here is we'll try flying from London Heathrow up to Luton. It's what, 40 kilometers or so? So what's this? 25, 30 miles, it's a really short flight. We're gonna take the A320, because it's a really good example of the, the co-pilot not being quite as intelligent as you would hope the artificially intelligent co-pilot would be. We'll see, we'll see how he goes. Heathrow Tower, terrible Tango Tango 8 to ready for departure runway 09 or left IFR to Luton. Good luck, that took forever to load. Okay, let's hit ready to fly. What I'm gonna do, it's immediately going to come out Clear of the airport. I'll, I'll set the HUD up. And then I'm just going to press AO control aircraft. And I'm going to do nothing. I'm just going to sit here, watch, and we'll see how he goes. Let's uh, zoom out the map a little bit. Keep the GPS tracking on. Just so that you can see, we're not actually flying too far. We are flying... Oh, hello. We are flying online, so we'll see other people and AI, and we're flying to real live weather conditions. I'm, I'm trying to keep this as normal for most people playing this game. I am usually a controller player. I don't have flight sticks or rigs. I, I essentially play this as arcade. I'm, I'm not great, which is why I need AI control when on the tarmac. I'm not very good at this. I've never flown entirely, well, I've never flown entirely AI control. We will see how AI does. Now, gears up, flaps to zero, and we stop climbing quite quickly there. Now, is he gonna bank left? Is he Twickenham Rugby Stadium over there? Start banking left, just as I started looking down so we can see more of the floor. This game is still a stunning one, one, eight, decimal, game. Four, seven, fight, terrible, tango, tango, eight, so we'll let him we'll let him fly. We're, we're gonna head north. We're not climbing, well, oh, look at the we're, we're dropping again. Terrible tango, tango, eight, two, London, center, Q and H, two nine or decimal, eight, eight, continue as planned. I don't know about you, I would probably feel sick if I was a passenger in this plane right now. Terrible tango, tango, eight, two, climb. Minus 1,000 to plus 2,000 feet per minute. Climb and maintain 3,000 feet. Terrible tango, tango, You're going to feel it, aren't you? You're going to feel that. But geez. Um, so we're going to head north. We're heading north about 45 kilometers. What you'll see is this is all AI control. So this should be the perfect flight. It's kind of the point of the AI control, isn't it? So that you can disappear, make yourself a cup of tea, coffee, whilst you're playing without having to pause. Why I'm expecting a perfect flight. Okay, so although we've said we're going to climb and maintain 3000, uh, AI control seems to set the altitude slider to 3100. He is slowing down though, so I'm guessing he's going to manually keep that to 3000. I don't know. But we'll be right banking, well, turning right soon, heading up past. Where would we go past first? I guess Watford sort of area? It looks like we might be following, following the M1, which would make sense. I don't know, I don't know the airport codes well enough to know exactly where in the world I am. Obviously, Heathrow to Luton, that'll go Watford, Hemel Hempstead, Luton, I assume. It's a straight line anyway. That's got of course there to the left.
So I'm guessing that's Watford. We're going over now with, with the football stadium. So, so far, so good AI control, although a little bit bumpy on that ascent. He has brought us back onto correct route for VFR. We're flying 3,000 feet as we're meant to be. Nice and steady, and we're pointing to Luton Airport, which is quite good. I mean, excessive airspeed, he's, he's doing about half a mile an hour too fast. Half a knot too fast, sorry, so... I'd let him off that one, wouldn't you? Now that we're coming to approach, I would guess, yeah, here we go. We're starting Maintain to Maintain present heading at altitude. Left. Expect ILS runway 07 approach by a D244 and transition cleared to D244 and terrible Tango Tango A2. So, 15 kilometers to go. I'm guessing this next town is likely Hemel Hempstead. I don't know. It looks like it's probably in the right sort of area. We're heading... Oh, look at that plane on there. GPS. See him just just flip into position. That was interesting. Wonder if he's coming into Luton too. It'll okay, get quite fun. So we're banking left. I guess we're going to loop round, head to it west to east. I feel bad talking over them. So we've got our new transition and we're dropping. We're dropping quite fast and waypoint Didn't give us a chance to. I mean, I'm not crazy, right? There was no chance there for us to, to hit that waypoint. Okay, there's our approach. Gears coming down. Flap setting. Please not make two hundred noise. Over speed. Over speed. Clear ILS runway zero seven approach. Terrible Tango Tango A two. We are not banking anywhere near. Over speed. Hard enough. We're going to completely miss this flight path. Over speed. Over speed. An easy jet plane is now Over speed. Over speed. very close. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Terrible Tango Tango A2. Follow the aircraft on final. Wind 122 and 17. Okay, so he's telling us to follow the airplane that we've just gone in front of. Over speed. Completely done. Over speed. We're going to speed. Miss. We've entirely missed. Look at you can see the path to the right hand side behind the ATC. At least we're going the right speed. Why are you leveling off? Oh no. <laughs> That's why I normally land the airplane myself and then let co pilot take over. Or the AI co pilot, sorry. We are roughly on the right. I mean, we're sinking at the right speed. We're aiming roughly at the right place, but we are entirely in the wrong position to make this landing. The runway is in front of us to the right. Look at that, two kilometers above the right wing. Oh, game's getting a bit laggy. Are we gonna land in the car? You're not landing the car park? Where, where's he taking us? 200. I mean, at least we're getting to see the the modelling of the airport, but we we're, we're gonna hit. One hundred. Maybe we're just gonna go straight to 60, our boarding gate. 50, 40, 
He landed on the roof. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> we landed on the roof and bounced. And then tail, tail hit the floor. So, AI co-pilot. Um, there's no issue using him or her, using it whilst in the air. Maybe, um, maybe don't use it for landing. 